Hello, welcome to a short demo of the NDSU Capstone Project by James Henderson, John Walker, Adam Bull, and Michael Schumacher. What is climate modeling? It is a three-dimensional mathematical description of the atmosphere, land surface, oceans, lakes, and ice. It's similar to forecast modeling, but over a longer period of time and a wider area. And essentially what happens is the atmosphere is divided into a grid, similar to uh, how you see on a globe with longitude and latitude. This can be extremely computationally intense and therefore must be run on HPCs or high performance computing or supercomputers. And so some of the main problems that these people who cl model climate face is that there really is no efficient way to ensure that the climate modeling is running correctly. Um, so because we can't really see what's going on our challenge and our goals of the project was to make a web application that can show the status of these climate models, display recent results and data from the model, and it does not require logging into some HPC server. And here's the final result. Our project was basically divided into two parts, the PHP backend and the AngularJS frontend. Here you can see our front end, but I'll just give a quick summary of the back end. Basically, we have API calls, um, PHP functions, which read the data from the data files we have on hand and return the information in a consistent and readable format. That format is JSON, and the client, our front end, reads the data and displays it in this format. Now, our front end is dynamic, and it uses AngularJS, and it follows the MVC, or Model View Controller format. Um, Angular, we use controllers to basically handle logic and it is very configurable from the code's perspective. So right now our application is using dummy data from a file on the server. Eventually the backend will be reading real-time climate modeling data from the HPC itself. Now some of the features that we implemented in the front end, um, you can see we have different panels which show different in pieces of information, basically the time of the last five updates, um, and we have time since last update and you know right now it's been a long time since this file was updated but that's you know just because we're reading dummy data and finally in this last panel we have our model status which down here we have our last four pieces of status information um, green essentially means at that time it was running red means it, it had stopped and yellow means it it was in queue and then finally below um, our final panels are scalar map data in time series charts. And this is used to show if the data being re returned is behaving properly. We use D3, which is a very flexible library, and it's really awesome. And it has dynamic content so we can display basically the data as time series charts. Um, and yeah, you can see we're di getting different um, charts, and it's basically mapping it by these keys here, mean relative humidity, max outgoing, long wave radiation, and max ocean current. Um, another nice feature about these charts is, you know, we can hover over them and get very specific pieces of information from each timestamp. And also, we have it configurable so you can decide if you want to read it in a bar chart format. Or, you know, you can always go back and just read it in a line format. Another feature that we wanted to implement was the ability to handle basically multiple files. And so we, in, we put it in a search bar and we have different files on the server that we can read from. Um, so if I click on here, I'm now reading from the Ocean Currents file. If I click on here, I'm reading from the max long wave MRH. And another final challenge that we wanted to implement is the ability for the website itself to be scaled down into different types of formats. So, you know, we might want it to scale down into some type of tablet format or mobile format. And that's how it would look um, if it was scaled down in a, in a mobile format. Actually, we have a, I can show you on an emulator here how how well it runs on mobile. Yep, and you can see 
that's exactly how it would look like on a mobile phone. Yep, that's it. This is our web application. Thank you for watching.